So Vladimir Putin says we're getting the band back together. Oh, hi. This is Steve Wood from Panavia here in Campbell, California, uh, your friendly neighborhood captured German scientist. Um, the 68 GT350 and GT500, uh, one of the many special cars made by Shelby back in the 60s. Uh, this one is belongs to a friend of ours, a, a good customer, and the, the taillights were not working, and the turn signal switch wasn't working, and we dove into it and figured it out. So each bulb, each 1157 dual filament taillight bulb, same taillight bulb that's in most 1960s cars, on the high circuit or on the bright side of the, the filament on the bulb, draws 0.8 amps or 8 tenths of an amps when lit. So that's 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 2.4. If you double that, that's about five. That's fine, but once you put in the sequencers, it starts chewing up many more amps and that melts your turn signal switch. So you say, well, just get an original Ford turn signal switch and it'll be fine, okay? This, this has been a problem for basically 40 of the last 50 some odd years that this has been a car. And so those are just not available and that's not a solution because even those melt and break. All the stuff that's available now in reproductions and things is imported and is built down to a price and not up to a standard. So what I wanted to do is replace the turn signal switch with something that worked and uh, basically have a light control that would allow us to bring some voltage back here and have the lights work. I have my loyal assistant, Terry, in the cockpit. Say hi, Terry. Hi, Terry. There you go. Uh, and he's gonna do some things for us while we watch. Uh, so brake lights, Terry. There you go. And then uh, brake lights off and turn signal right. and turn signal left and then brakes while you're doing a turn signal there you go and turn signal off and then brakes again and then brakes off and hazard lights so the flash rate is controlled through the car the electronic control that we have on the back is only painting the voltage across the the different bulbs this can be grafted into original style wiring or we can rewire your tail panel for you and notice how they're not leds these are 1157 incandescent taillight bulbs they look proper for the car uh it's running a full fully charged battery that's why they look bright and of course we cleaned everything when we we took it all apart put it back together and through our friends at mbox we basically made a small electronic adjunct there's a little case that goes over this and uh, we can computer control the taillights. The Mbox things have been great. We have them several other projects and that's the firm we've been working with for about four or five years now. Um, hit me up in the comments. Let's talk about it and find out, do you want one for your Eleanor, T-Bird, Cougar? Let's figure it out and see uh, if this is a good solution for you. Signing off from Campbell, California, this is Steve Wood.